Kai, and it's the final day of talks at Abladcon 2009. Our own old Kuiper has been soaking up the science, so what have you learned today? And what this rap is basically, it's my, my way of telling you about astrobiology. It's my way of breaking down to you about what they do. Up until the 1920s, everyone thought the universe was essentially static and unchanging in time. Then it was discovered that the universe was expanding. Life to evolve here. The origin of life is hotly debated. Some say evolved, some say created. The choice is up to you, it just depends on how you weigh it. Did life start on Earth and is all life related? To differentiate the life forms into species, now it's just a label DNA in the deep freeze. Got a complete these genome, family trees. Sign is the mental for pondering peace. Study life on Earth, then you're doing biology, but in space it's called. Astrobiology. Looking for life in the rest of the galaxy with planetary astrobiology. Origins of life still don't know the chronology, but digging up clues with astrobiology. I didn't know about astrobiology, but now I'm here to chat about astrobiology. So, what's on the agenda today? I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. 1957, check the date when Russia launched Sputnik, starting the space age. Two superpowers and a Cold War mandate. A year later, NASA's foundations were laid. Part of the first step, rockets need an upgrade. For lunar travel by the end of the next decade. Are we looking for life? No, not on this landscape. Where should we look? Better arts find Drake. Let's try to find a star similar to the sun. And where we might find a planet similar to our own. Where conditions are perfect in a Goldilocks zone. But what about planet X? We better leave that alone. The further from the heat source, the colder the home. But life can survive in its genes, so the evidence is shown. To find a life, not intelligence and genetic inheritance. But alien communication. How would we know? Study life on Earth, did you do it biology? But in space it's all astrobiology. Looking for life in the rest of the galaxy with interplanetary astrobiology. The origins of life still don't know the chronology, but digging up clues with astrobiology. I didn't know about astrobiology, but now I'm here to chat about astrobiology. Sorry to interrupt, Ort. Breaking news just in. Reports are spreading of a possible UFO incident. We'll have more for you later. Planet is only a tiny part of the vast cosmic tapestry, a starry fabric of worlds yet untold. Those worlds in space are as countless as all the grains of sand on all the beaches of the Earth. Each of those worlds is as real as ours. Countless worlds, numberless moments, an immensity of space and time. For millennia, we doubted in astronomy, monotony for some, but still the mind is always wondering. Searching for extraterrestrial intelligence, we listen to radio, but the signal stays silent. Only alien I've seen is in a science fiction story, in an alien autopsy or some other type of movie. So look for the biology, not the mythology. It's eyes into space for some astrobiology. Use methodologies to determine the distance to stars and how hot they're burning. But when I say Doppler, I'm not speaking German, I'm referring to a shift in the light spectrum. From all the methods, this could be the best one To find big worlds and other star systems Exoplanets that fit the description Is anyone there? Well, that's the question Study life on Earth, then you're doing biology But in space it's called Astrobiology Looking for life in the rest of the galaxy With interplanetary Astrobiology The origins of life still don't know the chronology To get up clues with
enjoyed it. If you understand a bit about astrobiology, if you've got any questions, you want to ask these guys. <laughs>